So, um, so what I suggest we do is we do a warm up and we do some standing. Uh, have a look at look at Cheng Bao, and um, I'll give you some things to think about for Cheng Bao, and then we'll just go through the whole whole little form really. So we'll just do a little bit on the loosening, so sink down. But yeah, do remind me to email if you want the videos from Professor and Fabrice. They're probably the best people to follow for that kind of thing, because Fabrice is like Professor Lin Hao Sheng's top top student. And, and um, Keith at the Tai Chi Union's got a lot of respect for him. And so we just um, draw the toes in, sink the hips, lengthen through the spine, relax around the jaw, and just stand for a moment. So just let yourself stand. And just notice the breath as it comes in, notice the breath as it comes out. So feel the, the spine lengthen. So you want to look at your working posture, but you also, the important thing is connecting to the ground. You want to connect to the ground and find that very quiet place that you're operating from. Laps around the jaw. You want the chin resting on the imaginary small ball floating on water. Make some space in your body. Turn the waist. So we're just doing the loosening.
sink the hips, lengthen through the spine, softly gazing forward as you listen behind and above. So start with the outside turn this time. Use your eyes. Keep breathing some more. Okay, two more. Okay, now change the inside turn. So you transfer the weight. Turn your waist. Morning. And we're all breathing. Ugh. It is very early, this nine o'clock one, isn't it? I've noticed that. Oh, dear. I've got... A I'm kind of similar to Karel Kaskuba. Ever gets up really, really early and he's very bright and cheery. And Karel works things out late at night and doesn't get out of bed till late and uh, prefers to teach in the afternoons and evenings. So. Marvellous. Okay, let's do four more. One, two, three, four. So we'll just um, take a slightly wider stance. We're going to do that one where you close the hip, open the hip. But because this one's a little tricky, you want to make sure that your knee is in line with your toes. That's very important. Because you want happy knee joints that work. So, um, in the sort of 90s and early 2000s and 80s that apparently loads of Tai Chi teachers were wrecking their knees because they weren't lining them up properly. And um, when I was asking Eva about the sink in the hips and how does that work for women, she reckons, and also she's a woman, so she, she might know. She said that the important thing for sinking the hips is to get your knees in line and that will help your hip, hips sink better, according to Eva. And, and she started Tai Chi in 82, 83, and she was a yoga instructor before, so she knows quite a lot about how the body works and knits itself together. So you go a little bit quicker and just get the arms to swing around. So you want to really floppy fly your arms.
So yeah, I'm really enjoying that Shibashi first set, but I, I really like all of the sets. I've watched them online. There's some, um, a bunch of Chinese, a gang of Chinese people in America who keep producing videos of them all together in this underground concrete, or this concreted over car parking place. So it's not exactly plush, but it looks good. And they're all having a good time and they're all looking very good too. So I've got quite like it. Keep breathing some more. Four more, one, two, three, four, and then raise the arms. Lengthen through the spine so the head floats up, sitting bones sink down, and our knees are happy because they're in line with the toes. So one, two, three. Fabulous. Okay, let's just come back to our Wu Chi position. So just sort out your feet. Always build this stuff up from the from the ground up, really. And then we're, we're sinking. So it's as if we're just about to sit down. So Corel said it's like you're, you've decided that you want to sit down and it's that feeling in your body. Exactly. But before that, that's... It's just like that, that moment where you're going from standing to sitting. Then relax the shoulders. Just breathing and out. Notice the breath as it goes into the body. Notice the breath as it comes out. Adjust my feet. Yeah, adjust your feet. Make micro adjustments. Relax around the, the jaw. Relax around the neck. Let the muscles soften and sink. And there's this upward feeling in your supporting bones. Softly gazing forwards, listening behind and above. Hmm. Just do that. Start nice and nice and easy. So really floppy fly the arms, make them very soft and light. Gently breathe in and gently breathe out. Sink the shoulders, sink the hips, feel the ground under the feet. And then turn the palms up and do that one for a bit. I better check the, uh, the chat, keep going, keep going. Okay. Oh dear, another one. Yeah, that's fine. Just turning up is brilliant. <laughs> you know, as long as you arrive sometime before the class stops, that's fine. And you can always catch up by watching the video. Um, you know. I mean, I have to be here to start the class off, but. The rest is up to you, really. So. so let's move through the spine some more. Uh, 
and change. So I'm just barely taking it easy. Keep breathing, marvellous. Just let the arms soften. So three movable joints. That's it. Four more. One, two, three, and four. Check your posture. So you may need to adjust the feet, soften in the knees, lengthen, eye level gaze. Do a couple more and then check your posture change. So just feeling the connection through the body. Turn the waist. Nice and, and relaxed. So it's all mainly in the um, waist turn Breathing, relax the shoulders, relax the arms, just feel the arms hanging by the sides. And then breathing in and out. Step into bow and arrow stance or gong bu. Sink back, sink forwards. Sink back, sink forwards. So aim your weight into the balance point of each foot.
watch the alignment of the knee. And sink back and turn. Just pay attention to what you sense. Okay, change sides again. Sink back, turn, forward, turn, sink back. Show you that from the diagonal. One, two, so nice and tall. That's good. change. Fall through the spine, sink it, feel the ground under the feet, breathe. Lots of room in the body. feet, you've got springs in the feet by activating the arches or gently drawing your toes in and you've got springs in the legs, spring in the spine, spring in the arms. Such 
tune into the natural elasticity connection of the body. So I remember we've got next week and the week after, then I'm running away for a bit. But I'll even be spending some time in Wales. Maggie's invited me to Wales, so. And she doesn't live far from Bridge End. So, <laughs> expect a day trip. <laughs> yeah. Or two. You know, or you can, you know. Okay, and then try that the other side. We'll just do this. Okay, use the springs in your legs. I'll tell you the dates I'm away when I'm wearing. And one more each side. Okay. Yeah. Right. Start with a bit of this. So just breathe in. Open. Breathe in. So wrists, fingers open. Wrist fingers close. Elbows, wrists, fingers open. Elbows, wrists, fingers close. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers open. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers close. Chest, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers open. Chest, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers close.
little bit higher up, shoulder height. And to head height. And back, all the way back down. Open close, just make it a little bit smaller each time. Faster trims exercise, breathe in, breathe out, extend, breathe in, and breathe in, breathe out, let go between the shoulder blades, let go down the arm muscles. Nice and relaxed, extend, come back. It's all through the body. Really good posture. Extend. Feel that palms expand. Bring the wrists in to the shoulders. Let go. Let them go between the shoulder blades. Let it go down the arm. Let them check your posture and then just let the arms gently float up into Cheng Bao. Cheng Bao. Feel the ground under your feet, check your posture, sink the hips. If you need to kind of move while standing, that's fine. Not everybody can. Um, it's not good for everybody to, you know, go completely still. So you might want to explore micro movements going forward and back from side to side. That's that's perfectly legit. But think of the expansion and sinking and round shape. Just gently breathe in and out. And line yourselves up correctly, connect to the ground. Fall back. All through the body. Sink the hips. Feel the yourself expand. Foo bow.
back to chain bow, but this time we'll do the bear. So transfer the weight and turn, transfer the weight and turn. See, look at this. Opening in the lower back, opening in the gate of life for Ming Men. Lengthen through the halfway point, the crown of the head. Then back to the middle, then pulse the hands, gathering the energy from the earth. So we'll pause for a quick water break and we'll go through the form. Yeah. Make sure I put that door up. Yeah. So you can spend entire seminars standing, but we won't. <laughs> yeah. I, I do like to do a little bit of standing, but I prefer to just, I'd rather hold the postures for less time, but more correctly. And it, it can become a bit of a war of attrition sometimes. Um, I mean, one, uh, one of my friends uh, up in Newcastle, he used to stand for over an hour, and sometimes two hours, until he realised it was a bit silly. So he'll do a good five minutes per posture, and then he'll do 45 minutes in total, or 50 minutes in total, but he'll be looking at lots of different postures. And he reckoned that was better than doing one posture for hours on end, or maybe 20 minutes max, really. Because then then you're practicing stuff. Um, I mean, they hold postures in yoga and that, so... Uh, and it, it's quite, it's quite, it's quite good doing, doing standing. It's a nice thing to do. Um, okay, let's go through the form. Breathe in and out. Lengthen through the spine. Am I recording? Am I am recording? Good. step. There we go, very nice everybody. Nice and tall, just take time. It's time to pack stance and side step. Grasp the sparrow's tail, right crane spreads its wings, 20% of the weight in the front step. Bring the hand down, bring the hand over to the hip, brush knee and Push step, and twist step, watch your knee alignment, put the toes, brush knee, and push. Brush 
brush knee and push. This time, spear hand. Spear hand. Up. Play the peeper. Step back and repulse the monkey. One, two, three. Step of Horses now. Tall through the spine, roll back. Hold off. Double handed push. Sit back, turn. Now, gather under, hold the ball. Step. Step the Horses back. Roll back. Turn, straight down into single whip. So lengthen through the spine but sink the hips. Keep the hips level so you can raise the foot off the ground with ease. Single whip. Wave hands into wave hands like clouds. Turn the waist, sink the hips, lengthen through the spine. Softly gaze forward, listen behind. And then one more, a lot final step out with the left foot into single whip again. Oh, that ground's really lumpy under this. Four. Ah. Fine. Well, I'm having to make lumpy ground adjustments, but you don't need to. High pat on horse. Step out. Open the hand. Lock over left leg. Kick with right leg. Grasp the tiger's ears. Push out. Gather one to hold the ball. Hit with left leg. Make version. There is a more stretchier version. If you fancy doing that, feel free, but I'm not demonstrating that yet. Golden top fish stands on left leg. Snake creeps up there. Golden top fish stands right leg. Fair leg, you work. Short corner, it's number three, and then you go all the way back round again. Step up to your right, step up to your left, high block. So this can be either above the head or below the head. It's just even you need to be able to see to the right. Go down, touch your control music, 
Right, so we still only had time to do it once, but never mind. Uh, what should we do while well, we're... Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really into white ape office fruit this week. So let, let's do a few rounds of white ape office fruit for fun, because I'm seeing the cascubas on Saturday, and this may be one of the moves we do, so I need to get in all the practice I can get on the sneak. Um, no, I don't want to turn up to Reading and get completely my brain melt. Oh, that's going to happen anyway. Oh, well. Um. <laughs> yeah. So, demonstration. Very easy. We'll just do a, we'll do a big version. We'll do a big version. Make it really big. Uh. Really kind of exaggerate the weight shifts. Just to kind of try not to do the split. There we go. Oh yeah, we're we're doing a the ginormous version. So like or large frame, large frame version. You stretch and then you go like this. So back. Pause, hold the pearl, drag and hold the pearl, and then you rotate the pearl. This bit you want to see that properly. Yeah. So I really like this sequence because it, it has everything you need in the Tai Chi form in very little. So this is actually from each one. Um, I teach an each one class on Thursdays between 1.30 and 2.15ish. Um, I really like each one as an art because it's very minimalist, really minimal. Not much, there's very, not, not a lot in the syllabus at all, which is just great. Uh, but it just means you can go in really, really deep. Kind of pure movement, really. It's great. Love it. It's all about being aware of what's going on. There we go. Marvellous. Um, I will check. Oh, yikes. Okay. Gosh, that went fast, didn't it? Dreadful. Okay, so uh, nice and tall. Let's do sun and moon, just for a bit of variety, so we get the sun. Oh. And moon.
one more time. And embrace the tiger. Return to the mountain. So you just want to tune into your tune into yourself, tune into your posture. Make sure it is just so. It's, uh, And then rub the hands together and polish the face. And then rub the hands together again. So really, just allow yourself to really arrive in your feet and, and really find the ground. <gasps> One more time. Stand for a moment. Just really tune in to the ground. Tune into that quiet, calm place full of clarity. And then make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top. Bring your feet together and Great. Well done us. Brilliant. Gold medal, everybody. Well done. <laughs> Fabulous.